Budget girl, what are you going to do to celebrate paying off half your debt? Budget girl, what are you going to do to celebrate 15000 Budget girl, did you decide not to celebrate 15000 or halfway? Budget girl, what are you going to do? I'm going on vacation! Ten people just, 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 just disliked. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, so, to celebrate paying off over half my debt and reaching $15,000 in debt, um, which I am not quite there at this point. I think I'm at fifteen three right now, but by the time I go on vacation, I will be below 15000 I, um, short background, I started this debt-free journey three years ago with close to $33,000 in debt. I think it was 32000 700 something it was a lot I don't like to think about it anymore and I have worked my butt off to get to this point um, the first year or so was pretty much just paying everything uh, that like my regular bills and getting some sort of semblance of budgetary prowess um, I had to save my thousand dollar emergency fund Stuff kept happening. I had to resave it. Year two, I put aside five thousand dollars. I had paused for a little bit, um, saved for a new car because I knew I would have to do that. And then this year, I moved. I had to move to Mena, Arkansas, and I had to use some of my savings and then fill that back up. And then I bought a new car with the savings. And there was a lot has happened. A lot has happened, and I have weathered a lot of storms. Uh, and it's all been absolutely worth it. But to celebrate. How far I've come and to recognize this milestone in my life I'm going to Los Angeles but budget girl you're not supposed to go on vacation in baby step two I don't care <laughs> I'm sorry I just don't I I'm doing this and I'm not even apologizing for it I just did but I'm not gonna do it again I am flying out to LA to see my very best friend in the world, Jamie, who has appeared on this channel before. I have not seen her in close to two years because she lives in LA and I live here. And uh, we're going to spend a few days together. And I cannot wait to see her. I miss her so terribly. She and her husband, Mike, live out there. Um, they've lived there for a little while now. They probably won't live there for much longer. And they've been asking me to come visit for a long time. Um, and they're not coming to Arkansas, because who would? Uh, no disrespect to my fellow Arkan Arkansanians out there, but come on. It, you know me now, at, by this point. <laughs> um, yeah, so they actually bought my ticket. I am going out on the 28th, I think. See the, no, the 29th, Wednesday the 29th, after my paper is done. And I'm staying until Sunday. I think it's July 3rd or 2nd, July 2nd or 3rd, and I am going to spend a few days with my very best friend. Now, how are you going to pay for this budget, girl? Well, you know, if you have seen any of my monthly report videos or any videos I've done on sinking funds, that I have a sinking fund for an upcoming vacation, um, and it's called the Domino's Cruise Fund in my budget because uh, once upon a time, my college friends and I had planned on going on a cruise around this time, like a cheap little cruise, like Bahamas about back, like a little one. Um, and that just kind of fell apart a little bit. We will probably do that eventually, but definitely not until I'm out of debt. And so I decided to use that money, which I had taken out of my personal spending, $25 a month, I put in there, plus I'd thrown in some money from birthday money and little gifts, or uh, occasionally if I didn't, if I had personal money left over at the end of the month, I'd throw a little of that in there. So I have a little over $400 in there to spend on this vacation, which I'm so excited about because we're going to go to Universal Studios and see Harry Potter World, which I'm super excited about, like ridiculously show, so I, I got a t-shirt already. Um, and we are going to a gourmet mac and cheese restaurant, and we are going to Madame Tussaud's Wax Museum, and we're going to spend a day at the beach, and I'm going to spend time with my best friend, and we're going to hang out because we never get to hang out anymore. We talk all the time online, and we um, we just we watched about half of Orange is the New Black this past weekend together um, online, like chatting at the same time, and I just miss her so bad, 
And you know what? Who knows where we're going to be a year or two from now. They will probably not still be in LA. They'll have probably moved in. I may or may not be in Arkansas. Um, family situations may change a little bit. Um, not with me, <laughs> but uh, we really just wanted to have a few days together to hang out and catch up. And I have a few days off of work. I'm taking a few days off of work and I'm just, I'm really ready to have this vacation time. I'm of course staying with them and so all I have to do is pay for, you know, the stuff Jamie and I are going to go do and my food and stuff like that, but, um, because it was incredibly generous of them to buy my plane ticket. They're out of debt, they don't have any debt, um, and they wanted to, <laughs> her husband has been wanting me to come out and uh, hang out with her for a while because they're in a uh, very Asian part of LA and uh, he is from Hong Kong and so Jamie hangs out a lot with a lot of people who don't speak English because that's kind of his crew and uh, she has lots of friends there, uh, some friends there of course, but um, it's, it's not me. I mean, come on, it's not me. So I'm going to go visit her and spend a few days together. It is fairly budget friendly because I'm staying with them. We're going to eat together. Um, I'm just, I'm ready to celebrate this milestone with her and to kind of stop and kind of breathe in and be like, you made it this far, kid. Because I do think that this is something that I need to celebrate. I do not feel bad at all about spending the money. I know that $400 could take a decent chunk off my debt at this point. Instead of having $15,000 uh, left in debt, I could have $14,600. But like I've said in a thousand videos, it is important to recognize the milestones because celebrating those little wins is what keeps you moving forward. That's why every time I pay off $5,000, I give myself about a hundred bucks to do something with to mark the moment because that's what keeps me going throughout the rest of it. Because I have scrimped and I have saved pennies and I have said no more than I have said yes. And I'm ready to say yes this time. So I feel a little bit like I'm defending this choice to you because I know a lot of you aren't gonna like it. But I am cash funding this little mini vacation. I'm going to see a friend. I'm not going to Hawaii. Um, I'm just, I'm going to go spend some time with a friend that is more like a sister to me than, she's more family than anything else. And we're going to, we're going to catch up a little bit. And we're going to spend a little bit of time in LA while she still lives there. And, and at the stages in our life. So I am pumped. And I hope that you will be pumped with me and support me. Uh, I'm ready for it and I will post lots of Instagram pictures from LA so I will be uh, continuing on my upload schedule I have actually been filming pre-filming a lot and so I shouldn't be able it should at least there should at least be three videos the um, that during the time that I am gone so I will see you all soon and I will tell you about it and if you have any questions please go ahead and ask below um, if you are a hater feel free to keep that to yourself so uh, I'm going to LA. I've never been to California before. I'm so excited. I've never set foot in the Atlantic Ocean. I've never been to that side of like Texas. So now I get to like, I've never been to that side of the continent really. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so I get to go see Jamie. I'm, I'm excited and I get to mark that I have, I've done a good thing for myself and for my future. I'm, I'm incredibly happy.